D-S-L-R Film Noob. Although color calibration isn't the most sexy filmmaking topic or photo editing topic, it's pretty important to color calibrate your monitor that you're working on to get the best color representation possible. If you are using a lower priced CRT or LCD monitor, those monitors sometimes have exaggerated color levels or the blacks aren't quite black or the grays are a little bit off. You can get the best results out of that monitor by color calibrating it. It won't be perfect, but it'll be a lot better than it was when you first pulled it out of the package. You can use a tool like this Spider 3 Express color calibration unit to calibrate the monitor and get it to its best performing levels. You can pick one of these guys up used for about $30 to $60, or you can find them on Amazon for about $70. You can also buy the newer version, the Spider 4, for about $100 on B&H or Amazon. I'll have links in the crotch bar below to those, but let's see how easy it is to color calibrate your monitor with one of these little color calibration devices. First thing you're going to want to do is install the software on your computer. It comes with a little disk and you have to enter in some serial numbers and stuff. The prompts are pretty easy to follow. I think everybody can figure that out. Once you've got that done, you'll get this prompt screen. Read those over and check the boxes to make sure that you've completed all those steps. And then go ahead and hit next on the right hand side. Select the type of monitor you're using. In this case, I'm using the LCD and then place your color calibration tool on the screen. Mine does not quite stay on the screen, so you actually have to hold it during the color calibration test, which is a little bit of a pain, but it's not too bad. Once you've got that done, it'll give you some example photos that you can check over to make sure that your color calibration looks right. You'll notice down on the left-hand side, there's a little switch button. If you click on that, it'll give you the previous color settings and the new color settings, so you can compare those and see how they look. Once you're happy with everything, you can just simply check a few pictures and you're done with color calibration. It's pretty much that simple. As you can see, color calibration is a pretty painless process. Just install the software, follow the prompts, and hang the little doohickey on your monitor. Once that's done, it's generated a color profile for your monitor and you're good to go. If you have an older LCD monitor or a CRT monitor, if you're still using one of those, those do tend to drift a little bit over time. So it's a good idea to keep an eye on your color calibration and maybe run it once every couple of months to keep your monitor in check. If you're using one of those foreign IPS displays like the Cat Leap that I posted over on DSLRFilmNoob.com, you'll probably want to have one of these in your collection because those monitors don't have any color profile settings. And the only way to change the color profile is with your graphics card. I'll have more on that awesome IPS display in a future review but for now thanks for watching and if you like this content please subscribe